So it's been a while since I've been on here. Hopefully this video makes it because to be honest, I've tried filming this video so many times and I feel like the only way that I can come to you guys and talk is if I'm not vlogging and trying to make this video all fun and aesthetically pleasing as some would call it with little clips because there's just a lot to talk about and I just want to go into this free-flowing thought. Um, this is about just what I've been going through over the past, I'd say, maybe six months. Yeah, six months for sure. So taking a break from YouTube was very intentional. If you've been here, you know. It was to see how my life would be if I wasn't doing this hustle of like uploading and, um, you know, living this life on YouTube. Um, just knowing that I had an audience and to see if I would actually do those things if no one was watching and I did. I know what it's like to just live a quote-unquote normal life or a life not online which has been refreshing but throughout that I lost the ability to use my voice and this is something that I've gone through before. It's very personal to me like I know where it comes from. It's deep-rooted in my upbringing and in who I am as a person. So it's something that I've always known about and I've worked on and I'm just going through it again, as they call it. I have been kind of in this isolation period where it's like, I don't know what to say to people at times, even people that I enjoy being around um, or if there are people around that say, aren't going through this and they are just you know being social i just i go back to being quiet and it's like i have nothing to say but at the same time i have so much to say i am i'm trying not to say these things in my in my head out loud these i am statements that have a negative connotation like i am a chronic overthinker i am quiet I, you know, those kinds of things, just things that don't describe me in a positive light because I do believe that things that, you know, happen in this physical world are manifestations of our thoughts and I've definitely been through this suffering period um, where there's a lot that I've just been thinking about and trying to overcome and the beginning of this year was all focused on my body and my diet because throughout my 20s, I'm 32 by the way, I feel like I've kind of kept that on the DL. Like I I look young so I try not to present myself as older even though there's nothing wrong with getting older. And this is, this is the part that is so strange to me is that I'm in my 30s now and going into my 30s, I was all excited because uh, I'm just like not gonna care I'm like older I'm not trying to compete with the younger people but at the same time there's this pressure to have it all figured out know what I want and that's just not the case so yeah I'm 32 and throughout my 20s I started developing food intolerances not necessarily allergies because allergies I know are very intense for people like it's very physical like runny nose eyes all that kind of stuff but it's not like that for me so when it came to food, I was experiencing a lot of tummy issues, um, you know, itchy mouth when I would eat certain fruits and vegetables. And it was always with fruits and vegetables with the exception of cooked salmon <laughs> specifically. I can have it raw. So I fell into, you know, the health world. I, I do love health. I love science. And this was exciting for me because growing up, I did not excel. <laughs> in these subjects, okay? So um, being able to revisit these subjects and just go about it on my own pace and learn, it was so much fun just learning about um, like lectins and histamines and all these, you know, terms that I never knew about, but they uh, gave me um, something to have hope for. Like I basically cut out a bunch of fruits and vegetables and I was carnivore for a month you don't know what that is that's eating purely animal based products and I felt better like it was nice just having a simple diet and not worrying about things upsetting my stomach but being on a strict diet if you know if you've been on any kind of like different diet it's 
it takes a toll on you mentally for sure because while you know that you're helping yourself a lot of people around you that just don't understand what's going on and it may seem so far-fetched so that is what I went through and it definitely helped like I can eat things right now that I wasn't able to eat before without having an itchy tongue or um, a stomach upset but there are still some things that you know I like but I know that aren't great for me and I'll still eat them um, and yeah just noticing what inflames me what makes my face puffy and bloated like my body bloated just the inflammation so yeah going through that was very intense because that I consider my first run-in with I just want to call them health issues because I don't know why I do this but I think it's that perspective of there are so many you know worse health issues but this is my first run-in with this kind of stuff other than mental health issues I should say that's something that I've been used to for my whole life but when it comes to the body other than having acne which is something that you know you look around and a lot of people have acne it's autoimmune and yeah going into other autoimmune things I've been dealing with things um, that aren't what is the word <laughs> diagnosed yet I'm slowly figuring it out I don't want to have the certain diagnosis that I think it is because it's it's nothing that I want like I don't <laughs> it goes back to me saying that I believe that these physical ailments are like the doing of my thoughts like it is presenting and I've had these thoughts before about my back acne and it's interesting because I've watched or come across people saying that skin ailments are usually deeply rooted in self-esteem and this is <laughs> the main the main thing that I go through and have been going through for the past few months especially in the last let's say three to four months and I kind of know where it comes from which is a negative thing for myself because I consider myself to be very smart and guess I'm quiet and that may not come across as being intelligent or smart to people, but I know that life is a game and it's a tough game. Some of us have been, you know, presented with the direction to this game and some of us are figuring out, figuring it out on our own and some with help. And I know how this is like being played, but I'm still figuring out how to do it. So. I hope that wasn't too odd, I would call it. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to work on being myself. And I think when it comes to my YouTube channel, I have felt for a while that I have censored myself or haven't been myself, my, my full self. And that, it's funny, I heard this the other day, it's like the Disney Channel effect. Like I wanted my channel to be inspirational and beautiful and you know honest at times but I think that was to my detriment because I was using my voice but I was still filtering myself and during that season it was what I wanted to do but I think going forward like I just I feel like I can't do anymore and I think that that fact is what has kept me from filming or just trying to and it is that sense of wanting it to be perfect I want things to be done perfectly so bad that I just won't start or I will start and I will self-sabotage and then I won't do it and then I'll try again so here we are um, with like the third rendition is that the word of this video and to be honest right now I feel really good I feel like I'm using my real voice which is uh, it's so weird because I talk to people all day long at work and I catch myself You know when you have a job or you're going into an appointment And I know not everyone does this which is so cool to know that not everyone does this But I know we do it to a certain extent if we want something to go a certain way We have our like, customer service voice <laughs> which I use a lot and you know, I will catch myself speaking in a voice that's a little higher and I mm, I don't want to think back to it but back in the YouTube old YouTube days also doesn't this candle remind you of the old YouTube days 
Oh my god, I have videos of myself just doing this chronically. It's so embarrassing. So, yeah, I catch myself and I'm like, no, speak with your regular voice. You don't have to sound like that. Your voice is perfectly fine the way it is. You don't need to pretend to be all giddy because realistically, if I am excited about something, my voice will change, my face will change. I am very expressive, I'm very animated, and I think that's a beautiful thing. So yeah, I want to stop doing that. And that goes into another thing that I want to talk about, which is like presenting myself to the world in a certain way. So I've been struggling with not only my voice, but with self-expression and getting into like style and essences and all that kind of stuff. I love it and it is so much fun. When it comes to expressing myself to the world, I have been at a tug of war with myself because while I love style essences and my particular one, my favorite by the way, is Style Thoughts by Rita. If you have not seen her channel, it's amazing. I love it so much. I am the type of person that likes things to be appropriate. And it's a very weird thing to be saying out loud, I feel like, because say for instance, I'm going to go go do something outdoorsy. I want my outfit to express that I'm going to do something outdoorsy. But at the same time, it'll have, you know, a flair that is me, personal to me. So uh, I want to wear like floral things. I like to wear like a skirt, like that's just my style. Um, things to kind of match, like it has to have intention but also go with the theme. So that's just who I am. And say for instance, when it came to making this video, I was daydreaming about coming on here and not wearing makeup and being like, hey guys, here I am, I just wanna chat, I'm not wearing any makeup right now, natural. Like that was some type of pedestal that I was trying to live up to. But in reality, like I, I love makeup and you know, putting some on, I have hardly any on. Um, and I also like that I'm not really looking at myself in the viewfinder because of this subject of self-esteem. Um, but yeah, just knowing that I have a little bit on, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. It makes me feel like myself, even though I'm working on being able to go out into the world without makeup on. And I am still myself. Like, I don't, I don't act any differently. That's, that's the idea. Um, but I am expressing to the world that like, yes, I like some color on my cheeks. It is, it is life. It gives me life. The action of putting it on my cheeks it gives me life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not looking at people that don't put blush on being like, why don't you put some blush on, you know? So yeah, just being okay with liking the things that I like and doing the things that I do, which is what my channel has always been about. And for some reason, I am working on taking my own advice and I'm trying to go into this without this whole growth process being wrapped up in a bow and here I am presenting it to you because that is the part that holds me back from even doing this in the first place. I want to share this journey and this YouTube channel is like my life diary and you know this is a season, season of growth, all right? There's a lot of work that goes through growth, that's something that I've been telling myself. Like the fact that I am not in an easy part of my life um, means that I'm growing. And that is something that we all have to keep in mind. Um, if things are all handy dandy, like, you know, the gears aren't, aren't going in a certain way. Like the gears are going because we're living, but, um, you know, working things out is just, it is something else something else and the part the thing that I know is it is up to me and I think that's where the isolation kind of comes in um, it's also a little sad because while I know that I'm in this stage going through all this isolation and I may feel like oh I have no friends I have no social life blah 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 I do a little bit but at the same time I feel like if I'm not talking to people they don't know that I'm like not talking to anybody like <laughs> it's just weird and if you know what I'm talking about like it's just 
it's this weird tuck and forth where like I would like to be around people and I am around people at work especially but my soul is just craving this like time for myself where I can just download all the information and process all the information and it's as if it's too much for my soul to like take on pretending even more that everything's fine because I think interactions even with people that we care about you know there is that level of oh this is the person I care about I don't want every interaction to just be me dumping like my deep feelings and like what I'm going through because there are moments where we just want to like savor like the lightheartedness of it all but I feel like if I especially like when it's like a friendship any any relationship I should say if I don't have the if if I don't feel comfortable being able to really have a deep conversation with you it's exhausting and this is a subject that I feel like is um, difficult to talk about in general because it feels very selfish, but I I have a feeling that, you know, a lot of us just feel this way, or every single person. You know, our battery is depleted. It's going, it's being used for other stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, there's nothing wrong with going through these seasons, but at the same time, it's it's knowing and being strategic about when you decide to jump back in and, you know, balancing out that alone time with going out and being social. And I think for me, I've, I have the privilege of like being social in a group setting where like I have my husband, my family, and it's not just me. I think that's where my main struggle is. It's like just me. I am the main interactor like there's no one else to say like carry me through these interactions and at work that is how it is so I, it makes sense why I'm so exhausted from it um, and it's not that I'm saying I'm not myself at work because I am but I've been doing that certain job for so long and I've had a you know certain relationship with people for so long that yeah it's just it's different man I just I know what's going on up here and I just want to share a little bit about What's happening? I hope that you're doing okay. This life, this world is changing and it's exhausting. So please give yourself some grace. That's what I'm trying to do um, for also going through it. I think the main thing to keep in mind is that we cannot figure everything out. Going with the flow has its positives for sure. I feel like I've rambled on enough. Um, I wish you the best. And hopefully I'll see you next time. I don't know what kind of video, but I'm just happy that I filmed this one. So thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>